Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. So to recap, in the last week's episode, we went through the retail AI desk categorization use case and imported the five category of dresses in Vertex AI using the data capture module. In this week's episode, we will go about training the model. So let's get started. To start with, click on the fashion data set and click on train new model. The data set and the annotation set would be pre-selected. For training the model, you have three options, AutoML, AutoML Edge and custom training. AutoML as the name implies lets you train high quality models with minimal effort and without much ML expertise. AutoML is quick for rapid prototype and experimentation and helps you get started quickly and evaluate the results. AutoML Edge is used to train the model that can be exported to Edge devices or even on-premises. For instance, you want to detect object movement at the Edge and take corrective action. In that case, you can go with the AutoML Edge model. Next is the custom training model, which gives you flexibility and an environment to build ML modules using frameworks like TensorFlow, XEBoost, and standard Python scikit-learn modules. For our application, we would use AutoML. Also refer to the best practices link being displayed on the screen on how can you go about doing image classification. Next, we divide the data into training, validation, and test set. Validation test is basically used for cross-validation to overcome overfitting the model. And test set is a blind set which the model hasn't seen during training and validation phases. You can also change the default for training, validation and test set based on your data size. In the budget, specify the maximum nodes per hour, 8 nodes are minimum for image classification and you will be built based on hourly basis. For more details on pricing, kindly visit the link being displayed on the screen. Also make sure the enable early stopping is enabled, which completes the training process. If there is no improvement on the models based on learning rates, error rates and accuracy, the estimated model training time would be shown depending on the size and the complexity of your data and your training budget. So that's it. This will take a while to build the model. Go and grab some coffee and you will receive an email once your model has completed training. So you can view the status by clicking on the training option. Also, if you are building your own model using custom training, you have other options for hyperparameter tuning based on your model. So let's look at the evaluation of our model. As we see, we have got a very good result for overall precision and recall. Let's look at the confusion metrics, which gives an idea on how labels are being predicted. So looking at the confusion metrics, we can infer that the asymmetric dress category is not being classified and maybe because of the training data has an overlap of asymmetric dress category with other subcategories like an off-shoulder dress which needs to be investigated further. You can click on each of the label to deep dive into false positive test cases and scores associated with it to get the required insights based on your training data. So this completes a model training and looking at the evaluation result. In the next episode, we will deploy the model as an endpoint and invoke it. Hope you found this information useful and please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates. Till then, have a great week and thank you for watching.